Hi, my name is Jenny and in this video I will show you 11 watches that will get you compliments, guaranteed. Every day new watches are being released and the sheer amount of watches to choose from can be overwhelming sometimes, especially if you want to make sure that you choose a good one. And for that, not only is specs are important, I mean, who wouldn't love a watch that is also beloved by others in the hobby? That's why for this video I have compiled a list of 11 watches that aren't your, you know, usual Rolexes, APs or Pateks that will guarantee you appreciative nods and compliments from other watch lovers. So let's get started. First, we have the Seiko SKX or the Seiko 5 Sports Series. The SKX has been silently discontinued in 2019, but before that, it was readily available and a big hit in the watch world. At one point, most collectors have either owned one or are still in possession because it delivers everything you need in a very good looking package. The most popular colorways are the 007 Black Dial and the 008 Pepsi Design SKX, which used to be around $180, but now go for a bit more thanks to its discontinuation. Uh, luckily, they have been replaced by the Seiko 5 Sport Series with an upgraded movement, the 4R36, the see-through case bag, um, no screw down crown, and therefore a water resistance of 100 meters, which you know is still more than enough. Um, I personally own two Seiko 5 Sports myself, and they are fantastic for small wrists too. Seiko loves to do all kinds of fun collabs with the series, so I'm sure everyone will find the perfect Seiko 5 Sports that could also, you know, double as the perfect conversation starter, like my Street Fighter Chun-Li edition right here. Next up, we have the Tissot PRX Automatic, and for this, I don't even know where to start. It references Tissot's vintage designs from the 70s, and the waffle dial is another well-known and loved feature in the watch world. Uh, the integrated full steel bracelet paints the whole picture, and with a diameter of 40 millimeter, but a Luxelog of only 45, it has enough presence on bigger wrists, but a compact design that is compact enough, so smaller ones like, you know, mine are still able to handle it too. It is Swiss made and available below 1000, which is extremely nice and easily, you know, one of the most no brainer, no brainer watches out there with an added water resistance of 100 meters on top of it. Next up, we have the Hamilton Khaki Field Automatic. I know lots of you probably hate the world, but I'm still going to use it. It is a true strap monster that looks good with almost everything. It's a 38 millimeter in diameter, super well balanced, and the latest version is available with 100 meter water resistance. So, you know, no worries about taking it swimming either. It is available in different strap uh, variations. You've got different bracelet and dial options, but my favorite is the classic black with the contrasting white date display at three o'clock. It is an iconic field watch from Hamilton, if not, you know, the most iconic field watch overall. And, you know, it still remains below $1,000, which I think is truly amazing. Something very similar, though not the same, is the Zin 556. It is perfect for everyone out there who favors more, let's say, simplistic design when it comes to field watches, and Zin approaches that in a very German way, which I very much appreciate. Um, it's slightly bigger with a diameter of 38.5 millimeter, but adds another 100 meter to its water resistance to a total of 200 meter, and it is powered by a SW201 movement, you know, therefore it is a Salita, which, you know, makes it easy for you to find a service watchmaker, which, you know, is always a good thing that you don't have to worry about this one. The screw down crown makes sure that everything stays dry, and the sapphire crystal on top keeps it nice and shiny wherever you go. The 556 is definitely something for fans of, you know, understatement, but it really shines very bright for everyone in the know. Alrighty, let's continue with something completely different, the Chopin Alpine Eagle. For this, we'll go with the classic 41 millimeter version, though there are many different variations out there, but we're going to stick with the 41. It is powered by an automatic in-house movement, and the design is based off of the St. Moritz, a watch from Chopin that was first released in the 1980s, which makes this a very beautiful homage to its own roots. The very iconic dial design is said to be inspired by the iris of an eagle, um, hence the name Alpine Eagle. You can absolutely see why this watch is such a big hit. The way Chopin modernized vintage design cues without, you know, diluting the essence of the watch is pretty amazing. Next up is the Nomos Club Sports Pneumatic. I myself own one of the predecessors of this, but I have to admit, the Club Sport Pneumatic takes the crown. It is one of the very few Nomos watches introduced on a full seal three link bracelet and it wears very comfortable. I've tried it. Though they followed the trend of, you know, green and blue dials, which is very common nowadays, Nomos managed to make their green, you know, they call it petrol, stand out from the crowd, I would say, by giving it this kind of forest-like pale green hue which I think just looks stunning. Of course, since this is a Nomos, it is made in Glashütte in Germany. 
with an in-house movement housed in a sporty 37 millimeter diameter case, has a water resistance of up to 200 meter, which is nice, and is fully made from 316L steel, which is, by the way, the same alloy as Tudor uses. Okay, let's switch back to Switzerland for our next watch. Of course, the Omega Seamaster Diver 300M. It is such a classic Omega, and the finishing quality is out of this world. I do see lots of watches under an ultra macro lens, and only very few compared to the level of perfection that Omega shows here. They laser engraved the wavy lines into the dial and the ceramic base of it, of the dial I mean, is a finish to an almost mirror-like polish. It, it looks insane. You can wear it on a steel bracelet, you can wear it on a rubber strap if you want to. You know, that makes it more casual, which also would make it more comfortable for smaller wrists because this is a bit of a bigger watch. Um, if the black and white panda colors aren't your cup of tea, you can also switch to a more toned down blue or an all black, for example. Right, for our next watch, we are now looking at Longines product catalog. Of course, I am a thing of the latest Longines Zulu Time. Uh, it is a true jump for Longines and it's rare that we see a GMT with, you know, such a subtle but cool design. The Zulu Time comes from a lineage of aviation or, you know, GMT watches, which Longines has been excelling it for decades, um, way before the Rolex GMT was around or anything like that. Um, so the Zulu Time here offers you a durable ceramic bezel with a full 100 meter water resistance and also, you know, a two-tone version besides the two steel options if you want it a bit more fancy on your wrist. And we're going to stay on the topic of GMTs and now from the subtle GMT to a less subtle GMT, the Tudor Black Bay GMT. Arguably, there's lots of um, to pick from when it comes to Tudor, but the GMT is such a big hit for years now, so you know, let's take a closer look here. It comes in a 41 millimeter case with a thicker, you know, case height, which is great for everyone who is tired of you now watches getting smaller and smaller nowadays. Um, it wears great on bigger wrists and really shines when it's given enough space. Of course, you get all the things Tudor is known for here. Um, you've got the snowflake hands, you've got rivets on the steel bracelet, and you also get the updated MT5652 COSC certified movement. And overall, I think one of the most masculine looking dream tees. Okay, come on. I can't make this list without at least one Rolex. You gotta give me this one. Um, but this isn't your standard Submariner or Datures, of course. It also isn't as basic as an Oyster Perpetual because the Rolex Explorer is, though it might look rather tame at first sight, a true Rolex classic that you cannot imagine the watch world without. It is meant to be one of the most easy to read Rolex watches, so you can tell the time no matter where you are, and it has been around since 1953. If you want, you can go for a classic 36 millimeter diameter equipped with your in-house Rolex movement and probably wear this watch for the rest of your life because you can basically never go wrong with a simple black dial on a steel bracelet. And lastly, I want to shine light on a dress watch that is so underrated, but so surprisingly stunning and full of all the good things, the IWC Portofino. I think I said it once, but I will say it again. Um, though they might look very similar, the JLC Master Ultra Thin has nothing on this one. It is definitely one of the dressiest watches of this list and personally, uh, one of my all-time favorite dress watches ever. Uh, you get these very subtle leaf-shaped hands and Roman numerals on the dial for that very classic touch. It does feel very timeless, but not in an you know, kind of outdated, vintage kind of way, nor is it too futuristic in its design, which I really like. If you go for a full steel version instead of a precious metal one, which is also available, you start at about four and a half thousand pre-owned, whereas the very similar JLC starts at a 7K pre-owned. So you know where my preferences lie here. Right now, you know 11 watches that will get you compliments from other watch lovers. Of course, list does not end here. So comment down below your favorite watch that gets you the most compliments and which watches you spotted on others that left you impressed. As always, I would like to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos to watch more videos like this one. And then I will see you in my next one. Bye.